Yo. Um, so today I was just uh, casually browsing um, YouTube, right? And I saw this uh, video pop up in my recommended. It was something like um, like four melody patterns that every producer should know, right? And uh, it was just some like corny ass video. Some guy trying to sell you to his like EDM producing course. I don't know why I'm hitting on it. Honestly, that's fire. But, uh, you know, I was like, huh, maybe I should do this. <laughs> like, not even being serious. Just like, huh, maybe I should do this. But yeah, I'm going to basically make a video. Uh, I'm going to show you like some melody patterns that are widely used um, in beats like these. Um, hopefully you guys learn something, you know, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a teacher again. And also I'm like hella tired of making like, uh, I don't know, it's just like type beat tutorials, like you're showing off some beats, so I'm gonna just do something different, you know. Alright, so first pattern, or uh, yeah, pattern I guess. I'm gonna get like a bass sound. That's good. And uh, so this is kind of like a. I'm gonna put myself in a, in the A sharp major key. That's like also very used, very popular key. Sounds cool. Um, so yeah, this is like a chord progression that is like. I mean, you've heard this in like every fucking beat um, you've listened to. So here's what it sounds like. Yeah, that. And that's just like a, the chord progression for whatever melody you're making. You know, your 808s are gonna follow this. You know, that's just like the bass shit for your melody. And uh, yeah, it's just the first, the second, the third, and the seventh uh, note in the scale. Uh, yeah very popular sounds very good like all the time you can also shift it down in the scale to around here to where it's the oh my god to where it's the <laughs> fourth fifth sixth and third note in the scale and it makes out the same shit it's just like five no, it's down, you know. And there are also like s other variants of this chord progression. People go like this sometimes. Yeah, I've also heard that. That's also a fire chord progression you can use. Um yeah to be honest i think i'm gonna show off some more fire chord progressions you can use in your beats here yeah this is the chord progression this is the sixth the third the fourth the fifth and if you don't understand what the fuck i'm saying like with the numbers it's just like like look in the scale here's where it starts over so an a sharp major and you know all the notes that are highlighted i'm counting from one two three you feel me uh, but yeah you'll figure that out it's not that hard i hope you guys understand yeah this is also like another uh chord progression this is like a dark sounding chord progression and the reason for that is because it's using more of the minor uh minor notes in this major scale i don't know how the fuck to explain that to be honest but these notes sound sadder in the scale you know also a fire chord progression and there's like another uh variant for this i guess um where you go hold the fuck on you go like this and then yeah so this is like um a third three note chord progression and you can pretty much like copy these like copy this off my video and if you just shift it up to any scale it, it will sound right you feel me and 
just do your melody from there. Chord progressions are very important in making your melody, and if you have the right chord progressions, if you know how to make the right chord progressions for the right vibe, or use the right chord progression, then uh, your beat will come out sounding <gasps> even better. All right, for the next one, I'm gonna show you like a very basic um, uh, melody pattern um, for like the bass melody. Um, fucking hold on, I'm trying to find a pluck. I think that's good. That's good. Um, so I mean, let's say that's our chord progression, right? And I'm gonna just make like a bass melody on top of this. Like that sounds fire, right? Um, and this is just like the most fucking basic melody you could ever like hear in a beat like this. And it's just like um, a lot of bass melodies uh, uh, are based around this pattern, like using these notes, these intervals, whatever. And you can like go crazy with this, like you can customize it, you can go. Um, yeah, that's not really bad, but you get it. This is what you can use. You can probably, you can only like use this if you want. But yeah, it's best to change it around, and that's just like some shit to follow. And next, I'm gonna uh, show you guys like a lead pattern that is very popular. Um,. I'm gonna just mute these for now. So, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this pattern. Or heard this pattern. Very fucking popular. You know? Um, so, <laughs> so, like, this is the pattern. The fucking the freaking crazy lead pattern, the forbidden one, bro. Uh, this is using the first, the seventh, and the fifth um, note in the scale. Also, you can shift it up to, um, you can shift it up by four notes in the scale and put it here. You know, um, it's gotta be like in the, where the half step moment is in the scale. That's where you can do the thing. <clears throat> and yeah, this is like... You can just use this pattern to uh, create your little lead. I'm gonna just try to create something. beautiful just from uh, oops just from uh, this fucking pattern here and you can lead it onto something else you feel me um how long have i been recording for 10 minutes okay um i don't know i think that's it showed you guys some cool fucking chord progressions some cool melody patterns and a cool yeah some cool melody patterns um I hope this fucking helped. Some sauce for you guys. This is very basic. This is probably like like almost a beginner tutorial. But uh, I hope it helped anyone at all. And uh, I'm fucking down to do videos like these where I just like show shit around in FL Studio. You feel me? 
um and yeah thank you guys for watching i feel like a youtuber this is fucking weird peace